Hey guys, it's Dr. Aaron Ernst, and listen, today I want to talk to you about probably one of the two most underdiagnosed connections in regards with your health, and it has to do with how your thyroid affects your heart. Right now, it's estimated that 70 million Americans are affected by some type of heart disease, with of course high blood pressure being one of the most common. As far as your thyroid, it's, it's estimated again that about 40 million Americans deal with thyroid issues, with eight times more of those being women. So this is a, a, a major health issue that I want to discuss because they are interconnected to each other and unfortunately a lot of doctors look at them as just a singular you know, entity. So we all know the issues with having high blood pressure. It can you know, cause damage to your blood vessels. It can irritate your kidneys. It can lead to strokes and heart attacks. You know, There's some studies that show if you have high blood pressure, you actually are four times more likely to die of a heart attack. So I want to help you to be able to deal with blood pressure issues and thyroid problems by uncovering the fact that they're interconnected to each other. You know, it's uh, been found out that your thyroid hormones actually stimulate your heart. So they make the heart beat faster. So if you've been diagnosed with a underperforming thyroid and you're taking thyroid hormones, like a synthetic version of T4, Synthroid or Levothyroxine or something like that, that medication has actually been found to stimulate your heart. So if you have a high blood pressure problem, it may be that it's not your heart, but it's actually your thyroid not working properly, or you may be having a reaction to the thyroid medication in the first place. You know, with us being natural doctors, our biggest you know, quest is always to find out what's the cause of the condition rather than dealing with the symptoms. So if you have high blood pressure, just taking a blood pressure medication is only covering up the fact that something's causing that. And same thing, if your thyroid's not working properly, taking a thyroid medication is, again, just covering up the fact that your body is, for some reason, not working right. So what we always like to say is, why don't you do the right tests rather than guessing? You know, I look at going to the doctor a lot as like a whack-a-mole. If you guys remember that old game, the mole pops up and boom, we try to hit it down. So you go to the doctor, oh, blood pressure's up, boom, hit it down with this drug. Next time you go, thyroid's not working, boom, hit it down with this drug. And while that may sound good because we're managing your symptoms, it's not addressing the underlying cause. You know, the next time you go to your doctor, you might want to ask just a simple phrase, hey, why is my blood pressure high? And usually you'll be shocked at what their answer is. So what I want to share with you is kind of the reasons why we generally have issues with our health. And it's because we don't understand that everything is interconnected. You know, we now know that your thyroid has to do with your heart, your heart has to do with your thyroid, your liver has to do with your digestion, your digestion has to do with your mental thinking. So if you're one of these people who are so frustrated and stuck, popping pills left and right, it's time to get the right test. It's time to investigate your health properly. Now, with the Ask Dr. Ernst events that we have, we have an amazing event coming up for you. It's on Saturday, February 20th. It's at the Country Inn and Suites here in Huntersville, 11 a.m., my wife, Dr. Sarah Ernst, is going to take you through an entire program of how your thyroid works, how your heart works, how they're interconnected, and how you can actually do three simple steps and reverse both heart disease and thyroid with just simple actions. So I really hope that you can join us for the event. There's some registration information below, and you'll also find some more information about the connection between your thyroid and your heart. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week.